As many of you already know, EOS version 7 was released uh, probably about two weeks ago. Today I'm going to give a brief overview of how to install it <clears throat> as well as how to use it in game. So first thing you want to do is head over to LCPDFR and you want to go to the emergency lighting system 7 download page. I'll leave a link in the description and go ahead and download it. You're probably going to have to go through a security check. Just fill out the answer. Watch it like everybody else. Non stop. You. So, download it. Alright, so here are all the files it's going to come with. To install it, you probably are going to have a majority of these files if you play any type of Grand Theft Auto 4 mod. <clears throat> but if you don't, they are included. So what you need to do is go ahead and you want to copy, if you don't have it, go ahead and copy script hook and a D sound and put them into your main GTA folder, so that's your installation folder. You're just going to throw them in here. I've already got them, so I'm not going to put them in here. You're also going to get two files named ELS.ini and ELS.asi, and you're going to go ahead and copy them into your main GTA 4 installation folder. I've already got them here, so I'm not going to do that. And then also you need to copy the EOS folder and put it in your main GTA 4 folder. As you see, I already have that. And there's one file that's going to come in that folder. So the optional thing you can do is put go into common data and you can put the visual settings it comes with. Uh, it's helpful if for some reason you're lights are not bright enough go ahead and put this into your data folder and it will make the lights look more realistic so th there are ways to customize what keys you use for ELS uh, some keys I like to use are 81 and 82 for the primary and the secondary lights 81 is the Q key 82 is <coughs> the R key and I can easily hit Q and R when I'm driving without taking my hand off the mouse. So it just helps make it easier to drive as well as I change my horn to four, which is the middle mouse button. So I don't have to move my hands off the driving keys to mess with the horn. So now that you have everything installed, I will show you some in-game footage of the new controls EOS version 7 offer. Alright, now we are in game. As you can see, for EOS version 7, you can use any EOS enabled car. It's recommended that that car have secondary lights so you can get the full effect of it. But the whole gist of EOS version 7 is having a system that is more realistic to what an actual police officer would use. Today we're using a 2013 Ford Taurus and we're going to go through the different uh, key settings you can do. Keep in mind I changed my key uh, settings to Q and R. So the, the whole idea is there are three different lighting stages for cop cars now. Uh, there's lighting stage number one which is just going to activate these back lights. As you can see, nothing on my front is activated, just these back lights right here. So that's lighting stage one. Two, it's going to include some strobes up front, still nothing in the front, and uh, strobes in the tail lights as well. And last, we have fully lit up in the front and the back. And only in this stage are you going to be, be able to activate your siren. There we go. There's a sign. So in in uh, none of the other ones are we gonna be able to use the sign. And I hit Q again and back to normal. All right, secondaries still work the same. It's just your secondary key button 
and he's gonna pull that up like I said you're not gonna be able to use sirens with that so some new modes we have let me check my notes uh, there's a cruise mode now which is a left bracket button on default and it just turns those two lights up front depending on your car and it'll turn those on and you can just patrol with those two lights on actually in my county right now they started this thing where they just patrol with the cruise lights on I don't know why but that's what it looks like then we have right bracket which is called takedown and that uh, basically serves the function of the L key what it, oh my gosh uh, the L key <laughs> and uh, basically for widening situations up or widening situations up uh, say you're going down a dark alley or something bam you got white some other notable uh, L L what is that called that is called the warning light and it puts uh, strobes on the front and on the back kind of caution lights type of ordeal it's getting crowded so it just uh, does this type of deal so that is really the gist of EOS version 7 just to give a more realistic feel to the whole uh, police police car hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you liked it leave a like and uh, I'll probably be using EOS version 7 as long as it proves to be stable in future videos so I'll see y'all in the next On Patrol.